I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins, and this is your Market Minute for Wednesday, July 27th. Soybeans closed sharply higher, continuing to keep an eye on those weather forecasts for next week, expecting a return to generally hotter, drier conditions in much of the Midwest and Plains, especially parts of the Western Corn Belt, and that would likely have at least some impact on this year's yield. USDA's next yield projection is out on August 12th, and that'll include an updated look at soybean acreage after a resurvey by the USDA. There was also some spillover from strength in bean meal, which was up on strong domestic demand. Corn closed modestly higher after an up-and-down day, pretty much following the lead of beans and bean meal. Wheat closed lower on profit-taking, continuing to watch for any new developments in the Black Sea region. Live cattle were mixed, watching direct cash cattle business develop. Trade was light during the session at lower than a week ago prices. Feeder cattle did finish higher, supported by technical buying. And hogs were up solidly, supported by these steady to sharply higher midday move in cash. With your Market Minute for Wednesday, July 27th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.